no laptops are built the same. You're going to notice that some of the processes that I go through in order to resolve the computer keeps restarting issue isn't going to be the same process that you follow. There are some different key actions that you're going to have to take in order to resolve the issue. Uh, for example, my laptop has the FN key, so you're not able to press F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, and so on, unless you're pressing the FN key. FN stands for function. Here are the possible reasons as to why your laptop or computer keeps restarting over and over again. It's just cycling back and forth. One, your BIOS. You may need to update your BIOS, the microprocessor in there that interacts with external uh, drivers and stuff like that that you connect to your computer. Uh, may need to be updated and it's causing it to like get stuck in some type of loop until you update it. Number two, your computer may need an update. Number three, you probably just swapped out parts in your computer. It's probably your RAM stick or your hard drive, but something's not compatible in there. Maybe you bought two different set of RAM sticks and because they're not compatible, it's not allowing the computer to properly boot up. Number four, the condition of your battery may be bad. It's worn out and it's time to get a new one. And unless you replace it, you're gonna get stuck in a reboot loop until it's resolved. Or you could keep it connected to the charger in order to keep the device on. If you have any questions about the process or you're stuck somewhere, be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below. Let's get started. Get fixed. Let's get it. Hey guys, Benji D here from Get Fixed. In today's video, we're gonna be troubleshooting a laptop. It's called the HP ZBook. I've never seen a laptop like this before. It's pretty big and it's heavy. But anyways though, this laptop is not turning on. It's constantly booting on and off and it won't go to the lock screen. So in today's video, we're gonna be going through a troubleshooting process in order to figure out what's going on. So I did ask the owner if any of the RAM sticks were replaced before. And she said, not that she knows of. She bought it brand new. She doesn't remember anybody ever going in there to swap out any RAM or anything like that. So let's figure out what's going on. It's currently connected to a charger. There is no type of indicator whatsoever showing whether or not the laptop is in fact charging. So we might have to start at the charger to see if there's something going on here. Hmm. Oh, there you go. So the actual LED indicator on the charger itself wasn't on. I just realized I had a smart switch that was turned off, so it wasn't actually charging the uh, battery. But anyways, so I do see an indicator on the right side of the laptop that is showing that it's currently charging right now. Let's attempt to turn it on now. So I hit the power button. The keyboards are lighting up. Let's see what happens. Nothing, so it's completely blacked out. Huh. It's not responsive whatsoever, so I'll just start randomly pr pressing some buttons. Okay, so it's breathing. Oh, there you go. It's going into the system BIOS and it's updating it. This thing's breathing extremely hard. So do not turn off or remove power from the system during the update. Any interruptions of the BIOS update process may result in corruption of the BIOS, making the system non-functional. It's currently at 2%. We'll wait. All right, so this computer got stuck in the BIOS setting for like nine hours. I literally left and then came back nine hours later, and it was still stuck in the BIOS setting. So what I did is I just simply turned it off, turned it back on, and now it's showing me what the culprit is, HP battery alert. The system has detected the storage capacity of the battery has stated below to be very low. For optimal performance, this battery may need to be replaced. Primarily internal battery, 601, hit enter to continue to start up. So it's a bad battery. Once the battery goes bad, it's not allowing the system to properly like turn on because it doesn't have enough power, it'll shut back off and restart again. So you're going to have to replace the battery in the laptop. Let's see if it starts up. As long as it's hooked up to power, it should start right up. I think once it's disconnected from power, because the voltage is so low, it doesn't allow it to properly boot up the way it should. Let's see what happens. 
And there it is. There you have it, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below. Anyways, guys, Ben GD here from Get Fixed. And I'm out. Peace. Let's get it.